fighting without fighting. That's the idea of demoralizing your opponent. I'm an Aikido master because I take my opponent's attacks, like put me in jail, and I Aikido use it because of the same span. The art of fighting without fighting is avoiding a fight in the first place. And sometimes I sit around here, above the peasants below, in some penthouse, in some expensive apartment of some of the expensive five-star hotel. And I look down at all these people and I wonder, do these people truly believe that we can escape? Do they want to escape? See, the Matrix has different ways of controlling you. The first thing it does is to come along and it tells you. Rich people are happy. Money isn't happiness. Don't try and get rich, that won't make you happy. Just get in loads of debt. That'll be better. Get a degree. That's what they try and do. First they try and convince you that you don't want to escape. So you say to the fish when he's in the fishbowl, it's nice in the fishbowl. What do you want to leave the fishbowl for? It's great in here. But is that because they love the fish or is that because they're in charge of the fishbowl? For those who are perhaps too intelligent to fall for that garbage, then what they try and do is convince you you can't do it. They demoralize you. They come along and say, well, not everyone can be rich like Tom G. Not everyone can be a billionaire. Look at the statistics. Look where you're from. Look at your skin color. Look at your socioeconomic background. Look at that idiot beeping his horn. Some garbage reason for why you can't get out. Why you can't escape. They demoralize you. And I sit here and I wonder, as I look at the peasants below, a large proportion of them don't want to escape. Well, I don't want to be rich, I just want more time to relax. Losers, slaves, enjoy the oncoming enslavement that's going to be bestowed upon the bloodlines of the are. Fuck up and deserve it. Then you have the others who want to escape, but they don't even want to be rich anymore. They have fallen from a different type of I wonder, if I were to ask do you actually, truly believe in your heart that you can escape? Do you believe you can do what I have done? Do you believe you can make a million dollars a week and buy a new car every week and get arrested and become more famous and doesn't matter and come out and have all these famous friends and travel the world and all these women can adore you? Do you actually believe in yourself or have you been demoralized? Self-belief is something that is purported and pushed. It's something that is advertised by a bunch of people. You gotta believe in yourself. <laughs> You have to understand, you don't have to believe in yourself for all the hippie garbage reasons for giving you. You have to believe in yourself for every single time. You're going to want to do something with yourself. You're going to have to suffer. And the only way you can suffer is if you believe you will reach it to the end. Do you believe you can do it? 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 And you believe you'll be able to sit there, both in the flames of poverty, be able to meditate in your mind to resist dying because you believe it's coming to an end. If you don't believe I'm ever going to be fire, you're done. In fact, you're toast. And the reason for that is you cannot endure the fucking fire because you don't ever believe you're going to get to the destination you are hoping for. To get to the end, you have to believe in yourself because you're going to suffer and it's going to hurt. And the only way you're going to get there is if you truly believe you're going to make it. So when I ask you, do you believe you can escape the matrix? Do you know what you want? Do you believe you can achieve your dream life and not be like all of these other idiots down below who don't want to escape or don't think they can escape or think it's too hard or think it's too difficult? Do you truly believe you are that guy? Because not all of you are going to make it. But the ones that do make it are going to be the ones who believe they can make it. I always knew I was going to make it. I knew I couldn't be like all of these brokies. I couldn't do it. Couldn't be a brokie. Couldn't be a wagey. Couldn't be a worky. No, sir. I knew I deserved better. There had to be a way out. And I found it. You have to believe in yourself. Now, we're going to go a step further because I don't want to sound like any of these hippie self-help guru idiots. When I say believe in yourself, I don't mean sit around on your ass jerking off believing in yourself. Because that is just a fast track to nowhere. I want you to believe in yourself because you have built a self-image which is ruthlessly created via difficult experiences you have deliberately undertaken. I want you to go out there and do difficult things on purpose so that would you ever catch yourself with any self-doubt. And self-doubt is insidious and dangerous. It's like a little seed 
but it grows into forests of inaction. Once you doubt yourself, these large forests of, well, maybe it's too hard, maybe I'll fail, and you just sit and do nothing, waiting to die. I want you to go out there and do difficult things so that if you ever doubt yourself, you can say, well, I succeeded in this situation. Why can't I succeed in this situation? I became a four-time kickboxing world champion. I survived a Romanian dungeon. I survived the Matrix attack of cancellation. Why can't I succeed with X or Y or that bitch? Anything. That's the beauty. But my self-image is built in brutal competence because I've been out there and been a combatant against the Matrix for so long, I know I can't lose anymore. You have to go out there and do difficult things on purpose so that you believe in yourself. And then you have that self-belief which is built on real-world experience, and the real-world experience has taught you skills, and you believe you're going to make it out, and nobody else believes it, but you do in your heart, inside, you know you will escape the Matrix, and that is how you're going to escape. It's kind of amazing. Now, something so intangible, emotional, like absolute self-belief can play out so heavily in the tangible world of bricks and mortars and Ferraris and money. But it's the physical and metaphysical that combine. That's what makes life so beautiful. All the things we understand and all the things we don't understand. But often I say to people, what's your dream? And they say, I want to escape the matrix. And I say, but will you? And I see in their eyes the flicker of doubt. They're confused by the question. Andrew, I want to escape the Matrix. Will you? They don't know. They have no idea if they will or not. They don't believe if they will or not. They've never thought about that. It's easy to think about what you want. It's difficult to think about what you're actually going to have and do because then you are accountable for that. Now you have to take action. I want lots of things. But I know which things I'm going to be able to do and which things I'm not going to be able to do. So, please understand the Matrix operates on different levels. They convince you to not try and escape. If you do want to escape, they convince you you can't do it. You must believe in yourself and you must test yourself. You must become so brutally competent that you know there is nothing you cannot achieve. And when you've done those things and you truly believe, and the universe, by some freak accident, decides to place me in the exact place you are. You're walking down nobody's street in a no-name town, and you see Andrew Tate, the top G, and you say, I don't believe it. It's you, it's Andrew Tate. I watch all your videos, I love your stuff. I wanna escape the matrix. You should know exactly what to answer when I reply 